Hey, Jade, it is uh, Lucas Cole and David Ashley from Healthy Visions. Uh, we got your email about the lockdown that you're having tonight with your friends. Um, and we got your questions in the mail uh, about um, the perfect guy. Um, so we've actually went out and found some candidates for you. Um, and today we're going to conduct a short interview, uh, interview these candidates and see which one you girls would pick as, as the ideal guy. So we've got three candidates. Our first candidate's name is Billy Bob. Um, our second candidate's name is uh, Sylvester William Randolph III. And then we also have Todd with us today. So without further ado, we're going to get the interview going. Um, so our first question of the day is, uh, Jade wants to know, how long should a relationship progress before marriage. So, candidate one. Well, Lucas, I just want to thank for letting me be on the show. Like you said, uh, my name is Billy Bob. I'm from West Virginia. I'm, uh, what up, Charleston? Woo -woo. Um, yeah, how long should a relationship progress before marriage? Well, one of the things that I usually like to do is take her to mom. And uh, if mom gives a big old thumbs up, uh, trucker's ready to go. Woo -woo. So, um, I usually... Uh, you know, I'll sport for a really nice box of Cracker Jacks, give them a nice pretty ring, and uh, just go from it there and start popping out babies. So I would have to say that would be my final answer. Candidate two. Well, hello, Lucas. Thank you for having me on your show. I just want you guys to know I'm Sylvester William Randolph III. You can call me Sly for short. <laughs> Uh, yes. Well, to answer your question, how long should a relationship uh, last before you get to marriage? Well, I feel like for me it's very important because uh, I'm in the yacht industry and uh, I want to make sure I get up the corporate ladder before I get too settled down. Um, yeah, so uh, I think the uh, career track that I'm on is probably going to be around six years. So uh, I hope that whoever I'm with is going to be patient in that understanding and very uh, supportive with uh, my career track goals. So I think that would be the appropriate response. And finally, candidate three. Hey, uh, yeah, this is uh, Todd. Hey, Lucas, uh, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, hi, Jay. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, yeah, the first question is uh, about relationships. Um, I think probably what my view on relationships would be is the first thing that you need to do is establish a good, healthy relationship. Um, and that first part of that is being a healthy friendship. Um, I think it's important to figure out what do you have in common, what are the interests and values that you have that are similar. Uh, I think for myself, I'd hate to get into a committed relationship and then start running down that road if we haven't really explored, you know, do we have the same political beliefs, do we have the same beliefs on raising children or uh, education or, or religion. I think you know, spending a little bit of extra time in the forefront is a, a good idea. It's a healthy way uh, to establish a solid relationship. And then from there, you go on a serious day and you have a blast, you have fun. Uh, I think it's probably important to experience each other through the four seasons. You know, Give yourself some time to see what they're like uh, and longevity of things. And then if it looks like uh, you, know, you definitely want to have this person in your heart in the rest of your life, you go for it. So, hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, well, our second question of the day um, is uh, directed again towards the candidates, and and our second question is, what is your definition of safe sex? Definition of safe sex. Well, heck, I never knew it was dangerous. <laughs> well, let's see here, safe sex. Well, usually. I keep several shotguns around my bed. So, you know, if those little ninjas ain't come popping out, I'm good to go. Just, I'm ready to take a few of those suckers out. So, uh, uh, I think that's about it. I don't really understand what the question means. Okay, candidate two. My definition of safe sex. Yes, this is very important to me. Um, I'm kind of given what I've already talked about. Uh, let's see, safe sex. We, I would say or suggest that I practice all the uh, techniques that are out there. You know, you have condom usage. You also have uh, birth control. And we'll even throw in there the uh, post-sex jumping jacks. So, um, you know, because you never want to be too cautious. So, I would say, uh, yeah, definitely practice safe sex, you know, because uh, who wants a little kid these days, you know?
Okay, and candidate three. Definition of safe sex. Good question. Uh, I would have to say a great way to have safe sex is not the habit. It's not the focus of a relationship. Um, probably for myself, uh, I'm going to wait until I get married to have sex. Why? Because there's so many other things that take paramount importance in developing a relationship. Trying to figure out, you know, communication. Figuring out how do they love, how do they enjoy being loved? You know, they are they in a, need words of encouragement? Do they need, you know, do they need quality time? What are things that I could put my time and energy in that focuses on developing those things rather than putting a focus on sex? So uh, there's just a lot of emotional bonding. I think I, I would want to put priority or focus on them before physical intimacy. Uh, and I'm going to decide to say that until I get married. So. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Our final question of the day uh, is, is um, again, directed towards the candidates. Candidate one, what would you say conflict resolution looks like for you? Conflict resolution. Well, it's a good thing you asked this one because in sixth grade I took a year and a half of Taekwondo. Now, I'm a little dangerous. Don't get me around some of that pine wood, little pine wood. I'll scissor kick you in the back of the head. But uh, I would have to say I'm the man in the relationship, so you better respect my forte. Um, that's probably what I'd have to say on that one because uh, I'm the man. And I'm wearing the suspenders in this family, so you better listen. Uh, you say, I would say things usually go my way. So, uh, um, but yeah, so I look forward to meeting you, Jade. Uh, give you some kudos on uh, the interview. I uh, hope you click me. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, candidate two, do you have any other insight into this matter? <clears throat> Conflict resolution. This is very important because a unhappy home is never a good home, right? We don't want any home wreckers out there. Um, let's see here. Conflict resolution. Well, it's a little well-known fact that men are logical and more rational than women are. So, you know, when they have their little emotional tips, I'll usually give them a few or, uh, you know, three or four days of silence. Let them uh, work that out on their own. And when they uh, have come to their conclusions, they can come to me and I'll give them every, uh, you know, validated response, you know. Uh, in regards to the situation, and they can always agree with me, uh, because, you know, men make better decisions when it comes to things like that. So, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, men are supposed to lead, you know, provide leadership, and uh, I think that's the way it should be. So, well, thank you for having me on your show, Jay. I look forward to meeting with you and uh, taking you out to dinner and some nice calamari or maybe some sushi. I heard you like some sushi. So, all right, folks, talk to you later. Bye. And finally, candidate three, please give us something that's reasonable in the least. Conflict resolution. Um, as opposed to some of these other guys um, that uh, have shared a little bit, conf conflict resolution is really important because both people are coming from different angles. And it doesn't mean one is wrong and one is right. It just means that both need to have an opportunity to share because maybe something in their past is causing them to have a reaction to what you've just said. And you need to figure out what that is. Maybe it has nothing to do with you. It just happens to be the circumstance. So taking time and sharing of, hey, you said this, it hurt my feelings, um, and here's the reasons why. Uh, I think someone would be more receptive to that and more open to talking about the issue. The goal in conflict resolution is not I win. I think it's very important that you know what? It's how can we progress this relationship? How can we com compromise? How can we get to a better standing? How can I lift this other person up? And sometimes that means compromising, all right? We get to go to the ballet instead of the basketball game, but that's okay. Um, maybe we go to um, Olive Garden instead of Taco Bell. You know, maybe that's a, a good place to compromise on. But, you know, the conflict resolution is about how can you strengthen the relationship and find what, where that middle ground is. Well, uh, if that, no further questions, you know, Jay, look forward to meeting you someday. And Lucas, thanks for having me on the show and Healthy Visions for sponsoring this, uh, this event. And uh, talk to you guys later. Okay. Oh, there you have it. Our three candidates have answered all of the questions that you had for them, Jade. Um, so I'd be interested. You and your girls, what do you think? Which one? Candidate one, 
candidate two or candidate three. Let us know. Have fun tonight, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.